Hey everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. From the silent era to today, Hollywood has always enjoyed a good disaster, as long as we're talking about movie plots and not box office receipts. The disaster of choice is often an improbable one, a rogue comet, an alien invasion, or tornadoes filled with sharks. Might be an unlikely disaster, but not an unheard of one, your plane crash, earthquake, or tidal wave. Or perhaps it's just the inevitable zombie apocalypse. Whatever the catastrophe, the basic disaster film formula is pretty simple. Big effects plus big drama plus big stars equals big box office. At least, that's the plan. And in the early 1970s, that plan worked often. Take, for example, our next film. Made for $5 million, it ended up grossing $160 million while also earning eight Oscar nominations. From 20th Century Fox in 1972, The Poseidon Adventure. The movie was a pet project of producer Irwin Allen, best known at the time for his television work, including Lost in Space and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. But with the success of the Poseidon Adventure, along with his next production, 1974's The Towering Inferno, Allen became known as the Master of Disaster. The all-star cast includes Gene Hackman, Ernest Borgnine, Red Buttons, Shelley Winters, Jack Albertson, Roddy McDowell, Carol Lindley, Stella Stevens, and Leslie Nielsen. Hackman plays a rebellious minister trying to lead a group of passengers to safety after their cruise ship capsizes. And bear in mind, this was 1972, an era before CGI, so every explosion and fire the cast faces is real, or as real as the movies get. Most of the actors did at least some of their own stunts. So get ready for 1972, directed by Ronald Neem. Here's The Poseidon Adventure. Thank you. 